Macasio, 69 King, went to who was the name cross? Sammy Flex Station, which is Sammy Flex TV, and spoke a whole lot of things. I only say a whole lot of words, but I changed my mind. I say a whole lot of things. He said things and things and things. Speaking about fancy Gadam, the music industry in Tamale and Ghana is how people are fucking him up. Hey, hmm. People are there trying to reach Makasio. Makasio is also trying to reach people. Bro, <laughs> the world is in levels like stage one to stage infinity. I don't know. So wherever you are, there's always somebody ahead. They say that no matter how far your community is, there's another community behind your community. Anyway, I'm talking about communities here. Now, Makasio spoke a lot of things. I like some, I didn't like some. I like the fact that he was positively talking about the music industry in Tamale, and that's a fact. The fans and the people in Tamale like shows so much. That I like so much. Um, to do a successful show mm -hmm. in Tamale, it's mm -hmm. very, very easy. Okay. You know, the entertainment there uh, is, is, is very lively. Like, the fans, they mm -hmm. like shows. Oh, they, the people in Tamale, the people they in like Tamale, shows. Not, not and he confidently and boldly spoke about how uh, Shatawale and Stoneboy fucked him up. After giving them free promotions, bro, at least. You don't... I've forgotten the proverb, so I won't say it again. You don't do person like that. You guys needed his help in Tamale. I don't know how true that is, but I believe that guy. So let me talk on the, on the fact that I believe him. You came to Tamale, you did shows, he helped you promote them, and you end up... He needed music videos from you, you didn't even show up. Anyway, that's not good. I like the fact that he said that. And going on, Makasio went on to say that. He mentioned that when he came to Tamale to do his show, he reached out to Fancy Garam team. And the money Fancy charged him, no. Eh? He go fee buy thousand Range Rovers and build billions of houses. And Stone Boy said, Mother, I can't pay you that money. Fuck off. Fancy didn't go on the show. And Fancy and his team, I'm saying this with regards to what Makasio said. Fancy and his team now said that they wanted the show to flop because they feel like if Fancy, who, is the, who they claim to be the king, is not on the show, it should flop. But he ruled the north. That's what Fancy Garam says. He's the ruler of the north. And Makasu is the king. This thing is funny. <laughs> one is the ruler <laughs> and one is the king. Who is controlling the city? <laughs> anyway, now, the ruler said that they wanted the show to flop. And the king said that no. When you are in my town, I don't do things like that. He had an interview. Stoneboy was at the Zara Radio or something. He went inside, told his fans, 69 fans, I'm coming to the show. Let's go to the beam show. He didn't even charge him 10 pesos. Let's go to the show so that the show does not flop. And they went in and the show was massive. That's a king. <laughs> we're just see, we're just in the car going. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what's in, happening. In Tamale? Yes. One, one, one of my guys uh -huh. was just driving and I tuned into radio and Stoneboy was on the radio. Uh -huh. Was telling Tamil people that he has a show on this day weekend, people to come. Not knowing that they went and contact Francis uh -huh. team, and that, that they charged them some amount that that one day it was not, it was unreasonable. Uh -huh. understand? So the team couldn't pay. Uh -huh. so, so now fancy people were doing the show against. They wanted the show to flop so that they was, Stoneboy people would see that because fancy is not part of the show, it will happen. Yes, we answer people will not come. Uh -huh. So when we, we, we tune into radio, but I mean, this is just a live story. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just going. I, I, I heard the voice. I said, This is not, this is Stoneboy. And my Morgan said, Yeah, that's him. I said, What I want when I listen to a conversation, I, I see that he needed our help. Mm -hmm. but I, said, I just turned out car, he went to the Zal radio and knocked and entered. I, I, I spoke on live. Videos, that you are I, coming. That I tell people that tam, people of Tamale Makasu is live. I'm, I'm I'm representing the show. I swear to God, they didn't. I didn't charge them one CD. Oh, I almost pushed my camera down. Sorry. That's a king, bro. But the ruler said, nah. Anyway, that's another positive thing he said. Now the thing he said and I didn't like was the fact that he was talking about fancy gadam. In a way, that's a bit negative to me. I'm not entirely calling it negative, but it is something that pained him. Not really pained him, because I don't know. I think it was none of his business to talk about it. Makasu mentioned the fact that in 2018 or so, Fancy Gala went on station, a national TV station, I know the station, and said that he 
Fancy Gadam sat on the TV and said he is bigger than Shatawale. But recently, he is begging Shatawale on Facebook. He is in Shatawale DM begging him. Mm -hmm. You see, you, you remember, it seems like 20, 20, 20, 2018 or something. Mm -hmm. I don't I can't remember, like a few years ago. Uh -huh. Fancy sat on national telly uh -huh. and told the whole Ghana that he is uh -huh. bigger than Shatawale. You, uh -huh. you, you forgot? Uh, maybe. But now he's on Facebook. I saw his post. This guy is one of his dog. He like me. He like me. Imagine that he's a yawa boy. <laughs> I love when I heard that. No, no, he's be he's in he's in Shetters DM begging him. I know, I know that boy. <laughs> I know that boy. The yawa boy. <laughs> No, I, I felt like you have a show at the Bukum and you are promoting it. It's all part of where you were at uh, Sammy Flex, please. But talking about your brother, I'll call you, I know you are not brothers. But talking about him like that, it wasn't something so bad. At least just, come on, you don't take it personal. The beefs are there, you understand? So when you go on the show, focus on your show and promote the show. We know you guys are not in good terms. So there's no need to be talking on the show. Say, he's in the DM begging him. Uh-huh, I remember. He also mentioned the fact that Fancy Gadam, there was some show coming up trying to collaborate 69 fans and Gadam Nation fans. Fancy Gadam fans and Makasio fans. They spoke about it. There was a lot of money inside. Then Fancy Gadam and his team went back and said, no, they should bring flavor on the show instead of Makasio. And they lost that deal. There are and so many instances. So that's something. We even went to Kumasi. We had a meeting with some, uh, some BTS company. Be like, uh -huh. It was... They were planning a big concert. These guys, let, after we left, they, they went and told them that they should go and bring flavor in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. That, yeah, that, that they were. So we just saw that these guys, they'd be our guys, so make we just leave them. Because, <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, the the, the money that these boys make me lose, eh? that's because I don't know. Either it'd be competition or it'd be greediness or they are afraid. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The deal didn't even come through. And that was a lot. A lot of lost. A lot. Am I rhyming? A lot of lust. <laughs> anyway, they say my laughter is not. They say my laughter is not uh, real, so I won't laugh again. I'll just smile. Yep, that's the things um, Makasu said at the show. I feel like it's okay. And um, please, the show is coming up. Try and then uh, go and support him at the Buku Marina. I'll do another episode on this Makasu talk featuring Jamu's boy. The producer of Black Symbol, Able to God, Able, Able to God. Me, I depend on that song. The producer is a very young and vibrant producer. He's with me here, but I'll talk with him later. My name is Cosman, and as it stands now, this YouTube channel is called Cosman Inverso. I haven't changed the name yet. Please subscribe to my team. Maybe I'll name it after my girlfriend. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not on Snapchat yet. I don't know. I don't like Snapchat. I'll soon get there. On Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even on WhatsApp. You can follow me on my WhatsApp status. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Follow me everywhere. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.